We got another one. Been waiting a while for this one. We got your boy YG in the building. I talked about him a little earlier. Uh, with the when I went off with the whole Rick Ross, a brief intro. That video was incredibly long. That video was almost an hour long. <laughs> now I gotta sit here and explain myself to people and shit. I gotta do two more videos. Um, but, you know, let's get into it. A brief intro of YG. You know, uh, we've all knew, we all knew YG way before he, he dropped the album with the song Tooted and Booted. Uh, he he did a remix to I think Nipsey and Fifty, am I am I right? I think he just did a remix with Fifty, and um, that was his big song for a while. He ended up signing with Jeezy, so YG is under Jeezy, and uh, he dropped the album My Crazy Life. He came in with the song My Nigga. And it became a smash hit. And then he did a song with Drake, Who Do You Love? This is a incredible, YG is an incredible artist, man. You know, um, I think I could listen to this whole album front to back. Let's go over the features. So we got Schoolboy Q, J Rock. PC, Rich Homie Kwan, Jeezy, T Flea, T Fly, T Fly, I think it's T Fly, Tory Lanez, Drake, Kendrick Lamar, Big PC, RJ, Ty Dolla Sign, Charlie Hood, Slim 400, <laughs> going after uh, 6 9 uh, Lil Wayne, Rich Homie Kwan, or I already said Rich Homie, Lil Wayne, Nicki, and me. And I stated this earlier. Uh, this is how this is technically how Neek, the Nikki and Neek met. They probably met a little earlier, but they really met on this set. I mean, there's a music video for this song and everything. Y'all gonna check that shit out. Pretty dope album, YG. He dropped Still Brazy. Oh, and by the way, the production on the album was all by uh, DJ Mustard. And I say that to lead into the fact that uh, after that My Crazy Life album, uh, YG and DJ Mustard fell off. Fell off. They fell out. So he dropped Still Brazy and everybody was like, man, you know, he's falling off and this and this and that, but it's still a good album. I don't understand why people can't just Support artists. Artists get co-signed by major artists. Support the artists. It just back the artists. I mean, we as the consumers are the ones that really push the music and make make the music popular. We can make we make shit popular. We're the ones that make shit popular. So again, he dropped the Still Brazy album, dope album, another dope one. We got Sad Boy. AD, Brick Baby, Wayne, Kamaya, Drake, J305, Joe Moses, <laughs> and a uh, fuck Donald Trout song with Nipsey Hussle, rest in peace. Uh, that was some, oh, and I put uh, I Be On with 21 Savage. So, with the FDT, the fuck Donald Trump song, he ran into a lot of controversy on this song. He, he, uh, he said it, you know, the song was out there, I got the, I got the uncensored version, uh, when he dropped the album, he had to censor it, so he had to censor a lot of things, and there's even an intro that is completely t taken off, I got all that shit, I got that version. I'm pretty sure I do have to be careful how I play the song. If I do decide to play, maybe at DJ sets or whatever, whatever. Again, I do got back to back too. I got a, a infrared. Um, I'm a person that tends to offend a lot of people, you know, unintentionally. I don't really care. 
but uh, again, I do have to be careful. And there was a lot of controversy behind it. And then uh, Eminem came in with a revival 2017 and said, fuck Donald Trump. And <laughs> YG was kind of mad about that, that he got, uh, Eminem got the praise for that. But uh, YG didn't, he didn't. And DJ Academics weighed in and said it was a race thing, and this and this and that. And again, I truly believe that people choose what they did. Choose what is okay, what is not okay. The people choose. But again, most people don't understand that. So, there was a little controversy with that song, and it built in a little buzz. YG realizing, oh, I forgot about this album. Oh, shit. <laughs> I forgot about this album, man. So he came in with, with, with Stay Dangerous. He had to come in with more of that pop appeal to bring in a wi wider audience. He started with Su Woo. Song was dope. I'm like, okay. And then he started with Handgun. Uh, pretty dope video as well. Uh, much Dank. Much Dank came with a funnier version of, of that video as well. And, um, Again, my, kudos to Much Dank because um, he he's showing you how the world is changing and how trends are. And I figure if more artists come with more, and you know you don't want to do this all the time, but come with more, you know, being able to have humor and, and, and poke fun at yourself sometimes, and you know. People say memes and you run with it instead of def instead of hiding and being afraid and trying to be cool. It actually amplifies you and makes you more popular. It's all about how you handle fame. Um, I'm going off subject again, but let's go over the features. Let's go over the songs. We got a um, handgun with ASAP Rocky. Yeah, zero five or bulletproof. Big Bank, Two Chains, Big Sean, Nicky, High Dollar Signs with Power. Oh, and DJ Mustard's back. YG and DJ Mustard was back. Cool. Quavo uh, with Slay, High Dollar Signs with Power. Six 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 with NBA Young Boy, one of my favorite joints on the album. Too Brazy, also a dope joint with Mozzie. It's a, it's a, it's still a pretty cool album though. But you know, he got one more. He had to do for real, for real. He mixed it with with this album. Oh, I do, I do got to shout somebody out in this too. With this album, it's like it's like one of those albums where he had to drop something quick because he knew. Or he felt that he would get flack for the Stay Dangerous album, which he probably did. So he dropped for real, for real. And um, classic album. We got the In, In the Dark song. Clearly a Blueface song. But I, I YG put his twist on it. Uh, Go Loco with John Z. Latino rapper, Tiger. Stop, stop snitching. <laughs> Uh, you got a remix with the baby. I added that on there. The block with Boogie, the valet. That was the valley or valet. Heart to heart, heart to heart. One of the one of the dope ass songs. Meek Mill, Aaron Ray, Rose Gold. Play too much with Safe. Do not disturb with G E Z Kamaya. Rio Dam. Or R J. Kamaya, Ty Dolla Signs, Mitchy Slick. Her story. Day Stolen. Now, Day Stolen is one of these Instagram girls. Um, he gave her a huge shout out. I'm pretty sure she gets a bag now just because she's at least on a song with YG. And it's just her rap. You know, um, YG, YG definitely upped the price of her, her booking. Booking Day Stolen is probably a lot harder now. Um, Interesting. She and she's a pretty girl too. 
been through a lot. Uh, you do you definitely got to hear the her story song. Um, big ups to Day Song and man. But yeah, he he dropped this hard bottom white sock, white sock dope bottle service, cool in the dark, cool. Whole album cool. Heart to heart is my favorite song. And then I'll add it Y and S for the black youngster and Y and Y F M U G. So yeah, that's Y G. Uh, y G tends to run into a lot of controversies where he tends to punk his fans. I don't think that again. I don't think that's a good look. You don't have to always be a tough guy, Y G. We know you're tough. You know, be tough and just and just be you and do your thing. Don't punk your fans. You know, because at the end of the day, we're just, People are just gonna start avoiding you. Cause not everybody's tough. But uh yeah, that's my brief intro on YG. Anyway. <laughs>